working on this job here. I'll show you what I got here, but uh, about halfway through this thing, I come into a kind of a mess here. So I'll show you what I've done so far, and I'll give you a little progress later on. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Doing a little job at a housing development. Um, didn't get much picture. I got some pictures before. I'll show you them to you, but uh, I got some after stuff. So it's the last day. Actually, I'm on the last day right now. We're going to go ahead and mulch this thing and seed it. I'll get some video of that, but uh, hope you enjoy. Remember to hit that subscribe button and uh, see you in the next one. Okay, so I was contacted by these people, and they built this home. And it was supposed to be ready for topsoil. You can see the back bank's got that drop off right there. Um, they piled the dirt up against the side of the house. There's no room for topsoil there. There's actually supposed to be a sidewalk going in out front here, and it just drops right straight off. But uh, it was nowhere was even close to being ready for topsoil. Oh, yeah, this place is ready for topsoil. Oh, yeah, sure is. Let's just go ahead and see. Oh, yeah, oh, oh yeah. Just gonna go ahead and just make grass grow up on top of the house here. Whatever. Yeah, excuse me. This. Oh, let's just put it down four inches for topsoil. That's the way it's supposed to be. Oh, look, you got room for topsoil there. Three inches down, four inches down. Yeah, let's just pile the dirt up on the edge of the house. That's a good idea. People are idiots, I'm telling you. Done. Okay, so I'm down in Corning here, up on the hill. But uh, here's the house here, beautiful house up on the hill. And uh, driveway's coming in here. Had some rock left over from when I was cleaning stuff up, so I kind of built a little wall in here. But this had to reface this whole slope. We're getting ready for top, so I got a dozer coming in Monday. But uh, driveway and everything was here when I got here. I'm just getting ready for topsoil, and it was not ready for topsoil. So I had to build this whole bank out right here because they want to put a sidewalk in, and basically the whole slope just dropped off right here. So this little knob was all fill that we brought, and I'll show you where I got the fill from. But uh, when I get the dozer here Monday, I'll go ahead and shape this up and get it looking a little better. But uh, the fill all came from back here, around the back side of the house. Gonna French drain we're gonna put in here we got some stone coming Monday put a drain tile in there that goes all the way around but this slope right here it came right down and it had an edge a drop-off edge right here all the way around this thing not walkable not mowable pretty much not useful at all there was a ditch up above and it was working fine I did have to extend it I moved it up the hill about 15 feet so that I could get the right grade to come back and get this thing pitched where it needs to be. But drain comes all the way around here to the porch, back porch. And then, uh, like I said, got water in the bank right here and it's drier than anything, but we hit water back here, so that's good. There'll be water going down that ditch eventually, but let that thing bleed out. And then there's a backyard back here that uh, none of these edges were ready for topsoil at all all the way down through here they were it was up against the dirt or up against the bank right here or the house and uh, this had a big belly into it so i went ahead and straightened this all out came back here ditch the ditch up here i got i gotta do a little work to this yet i don't have, I haven't changed out buckets yet but i need to go back up through there and taper the ditch out a little bit better but yeah, there she is. 305. Did a lot of work here between that and the old Kubota. They've done a lot of work here. But uh, I'm going to head to the house. Hopefully everybody's had a good 4th of July or is going to have a good 4th of July. That's what I'm going to do this weekend. Spend a little time with the family. Go to the lake maybe. Do a few things. But, uh, yep. Load it up, ready to go to the house.
three screen topsoils here. It's almost 11 o'clock. I got one load. Might be here a little while. I don't know. We'll see. Um, got this boxed out for sidewalk. Got the topsoil in here. We scratched it out. Um, I'm going to put a four foot sidewalk in there. I'm not going to do it. Somebody else is going to. But I'm going to leave it out six feet and then the bank will taper from there. So hopefully that'll work out good. The uh, dozer's here. 450 J's down there. We'll uh, get a little visual on that here in a second. So, but so far, so good. Yeah, the boy's going to go bury some rocks. There's this gem here, 450J, 3,000 hours onto it, a little over 3,000, but uh, she's uh, she worked hard. Browsers are already full, they'll be, they'll be knocked out here by the end of the day. It'll be nice and clean. So we got here as far as oil. Let's jump on the other side here. is black and one more baby back she's like water oh my lord she's due for an oil change that's for sure it's a rental she's a rental that top so it's got to go around the back but the girls are out there they're wetting everything down before we mulch it and the mulch it this morning and uh put our stamp on it's all tracked in looking good it's mulching day girls are watering things down got a little topsoil spread got the cummins loaded down with the mulcher good stuff good stuff what's up Show you what we got here, all finished up here. Nice little project, but uh, show you what I got. First of all, uh, sloped off this back bank behind this house, beautiful home. Came up, cut this back, they left a ledge in here. French drain, stone, all the way around the back. Bumped the grade to the house so that everything come in. Had to move the diversion ditch up the hill so that we could get enough slope on this thing so we could mow it back. Um, bump the grades through here, put a drain in there, on the back, re slip this back, brought the high point right here, the high point goes across here, water sheds that direction, and then the water goes back that way, reshaped, had to bury some rocks back there, big rock pile. Um, it was just ridiculous. They, they put dirt right against the side of the building. You gotta have grass there. Most everything off, re sloped this here. Tracked it all in. Come around to the front. This is where the bulk of the work was before it actually, the, this bank come out right here and it just dropped straight off. So we put a 10 foot landing in here, took the dirt from the back, got it out here, made a nice level spot. So they could put a sidewalk in. I put some stone in there for them. But um, now they got room here to put a sidewalk in. re slope the bank off around the front. Just got done mulching everything. Brought this around so you can walk around here now before. Like I said before, from this corner right here, it just drops straight off. Didn't even have this hill in here or nothing, so. A lot of work, moved all the dirt around here. Took the dirt off the back bank to do this. But uh, 
driveway down here. Got some rock down here. Those are some of the rocks that were in the back bank. Kind of had to make a transition because the driveway is so steep here. Made a transition to go in like that. Brought it in. So, sloped it all back. Like I said, downtown Corning, New York here. So, not downtown, but yeah, turned out pretty nice. It's a beautiful home. And uh, yeah, up here, you got the roof leaders up here. And the uh, basement drain come out. They come out of the bank right there. So I put a big rock in the bank here. I'm gonna come back and take the soap fence out once we get grass established here. But uh, put a big rock in the bank here and keep them from washing. So, yep, should be good. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember to hit that subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you on the next job.